Solving the Linear Differential Equation, Part 4. This is the last part of the Linear Differential Equation. The, uh, we talk about how to solve the Linear uh, Differential Equation. And Laplace transformation was very useful too, but most of the time um, we cannot solve it still because the, all the functions you learn in high school are not enough to express the solution of the uh, differential equation like exponential, logarithms and other science and cosine sine and cosine the, so in the college levels you learn some additional function which, which are, are useful for solving the differ differential equation one of them is a gamma function the gamma function is uh, you look at the uh, Laplace transformation of t to the nth and that's pretty much the uh, described the gamma function. The gamma function is this portion and this is this this is impossible to do uh, take the integral we define this as a gamma and n here is going to be n plus 1. So the characteristic of gamma function is n plus 1, the gamma n plus 1 is n, gamma n equals n, n minus 1, gamma n minus 1, so on so. And the gamma 1, this is 1, in this case we can do uh, take an integral, it's, it's going to be 1. So if n is integer, uh, you know the familiar um, expression gamma 6 is 5 explanation mark that means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 okay so that's the characteristic of gamma but the gamma function work for any n and doesn't have to be integer so this is just a special case. Uh, solution of sum of uh, differential equation is a gamma function. Uh, we introduce another function called beta and the beta is like this m minus 1 and n minus 1 and m and n are both positive integer. Uh, it doesn't have to be integer, positive number. Okay, so this beta function is also used often to describe the solution of the uh, uh, linear differential equation. And the beta function is symmetric. Okay, we can swap m and n and it's still same beta function. And beta function definition you should know is expressed by the gamma function. Basically, the gamma function multiply and divide by combined m plus n that's the beta function okay so the last one we need is a Bessel function and the Bessel function is more direct we just say solution to this differential equation is the Bessel function hmm. so we don't know how to solve it then we have no idea about Bessel function well, there is a, a technique to use finite uh, infinite series to find the uh, 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 solution of the differential equation. Using that, we can get solution Jn equals to infinite series of gamma function in there it's kind of complicated and when the, um, n is not exact integer you can define negative n and solution to this differential equation will be combination of jn and j minus n negative n okay so this process is very long um, probably several pages of deviation 
so we don't go into that uh, you can look at the uh, math book but things you have to remember is that this kind of differential equation you encounter often and the mathematician worked on it and by defining a best cell equation which is this Jn and J negative N we could somehow describe the solution this is the solution of the differential equation does it help you you think well actually it's helped a little bit because when you calculate numeric solution at least you can calculate the uh, series to get this value right for given x so at least uh, it helps to calculate using computer what kind of value it get the numeric analysis it helps the numeric analysis okay and also Bessel equation has been modified for some modified equation is slightly different from this deviation uh, modified Bessel equation uh, will help to solve it so here's a struggle differential equation is hard to solve mostly it's not solvable but the mathematician made a great stride to uh, find solution at least for some of them and it's obvious that need new function to describe the solution the all the function you learn in the high school mathematics doesn't help okay the all the different kind of functions needed to describe the solution of the differential equation so the nature is a lot of more than just uh, um, elementary functions uh, you learn in high school it's, it's got a lot of more complicated function needed and some of them are introduced here so see uh, differential equation is a tough cookie and those function was invented to help some of them but not all of them okay so i hope you enjoy listening this videos and if you like it please subscribe thank you for listening